Okay, so we're going to talk about the blood flow in the heart. Uh, we have our heart here. <laughs> um, and the heart has um, basically four chambers. So we're going to divide our heart. Um, four chambers. Okay, one, two, three, four. Um, coming from the heart are arteries and veins that bring the blood from and to the heart either to the lungs or to the body okay so four chambers and then um, these these um, four places that bring blood from and to the heart we have um, starting we'll start from the body to the heart so starting from going from the body to the heart is the vena cava. Now I might be pronouncing these wrong. Um, I'm not going to lie. So just hang with me. Um, here we go. Vena cava. There is a superior and an inferior vena cava. Obviously the superior um, is the superior um, portion of your body, which is your upper body and upper extremities, arms. Uh, so your super vena cava is bringing blood from the top portion of your body into the heart. Inferior vena cava is bringing the blood from uh, lower portions of your body, such as your trunk and uh, legs. So vena cava is bringing blood in from your body into your heart, into the right atrium. That is the top chamber of your heart. Um, and then from there, it goes through to the next chamber and must pass through a valve to go to the next portion. So that is the tricuspid valve. Valve. It's got to go through that valve. From there into this chamber, which is the right ventricle. And then um, once it leaves this chamber, it's got to go through another valve here, and that's the pulmonary valve. It's got to go through that valve. And from um, leaving the pulmonary valve going through there it has to go out this way the pulmonary artery okay and that's leaving towards the lungs it's going to the lungs and now from the lungs it's going to travel um, it just left the heart through the pulmonary artery to the lungs is going to go through the pulmonary vein now from the lungs to the heart into this chamber left atrium so from the left atrium it's got to travel through this uh, another valve called the mitral valve Okay, through this valve, it's going to go into this chamber, the left ventricle. Okay, it's got to go through another valve here, the aortic. A-O-R-T-I-C valve. Okay, that's this valve right here. Um... And as we kind of saw here, past the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery, it's going to leave or go through the pulmon. Or I'm sorry, it's going to go through the aortic valve to the aorta. Leaving the aorta into the rest of the body, from the heart to the body. Okay, so that's kind of a quick and dirty version of it. So if we want to actually do blood flow through our diagram here, we'll start from the body, deoxygenated blood, 
blue from the body through the vena cava to the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve to the through the pulmonary pulmonary artery and out to the lungs okay and then it's going to go in the lungs our lungs breathe in oxygen so that blood in our lungs is going to um, contain oxygen now so we're red blood from the lungs through the pulmonary vein into the left atrium through the mitral valve to the left ventricle through the aortic valve through the aorta and into the rest of our body okay so that's kind of the um, dummy down version um, of my lovely heart drawing um, <coughs> so here is what let's change this around here is what your heart actually looks like okay so um, if we want to label some parts here kind of um, same kind of thing um, with my other drawing there we have from the body the vena cava here this is the vena cava and it's on the top part it's bringing blood from the top part of our body so remember that's superior vena cava and down here we have uh, the, the bottom one the in inferior cava okay so that's going to bring blood uh, from the bottom of our bodies this is bringing blood from the top of our bodies into our heart and if we remember from the previous one it's going to bring this um, this uh, chamber right here is the right atrium okay and then this little valve right here from our previous drawing we learned is the tricuspid valve okay and that this it leads into this big chamber right here this big chamber and that's our right ventricle We have the right aorta. Right aorta, right ventricle. Now, uh, from our previous drawing, we left the right ventricle and went through the right pulmonary valve. And that is going to be um, actually right here. Um, it doesn't have it in here, but we can draw two little valves here. Okay? So it's going to push the right uh, blood from the right ventricle, it's going to push it up into here so this is the way the valve going whereas this is the valve going down this way so this valve kind of opens pours out the blood here and then it'll close back up versus this valve is pushing the blood up this way so it's actually um, you know the little opening right here allowing blood to go that way that is the pulmonary valve Okay, so that's going to have blood going through here, and, you know, pulmonary valve leads to pulmonary artery. Okay, so this, this whole thing, this is the pulmonary artery going this way, this is the pulmonary artery right here, going in between here, out here. Okay, pulmonary artery. Then that leaves the heart. The blood leaves the heart there, goes into the lungs, gets oxygen, oxygen and it's going to come back in through um, these things right here, right there and right here. So this is um, your left lung over here. This is your right lung over here. Um, it's going to come back through these called the pulmonary veins. Okay, this is the pulmonary vein. Okay, then it's going to enter in this chamber right here, your left atrium. This valve right here is pushing blood down here, so that's why this valve is open the way it is. That is your mitral valve. And it leads into your left ventricle. Okay, from the left ventricle, um, and again, it doesn't show it here, but there's a valve right here that we need to know. 
This valve is the aortic valve. Right there. And that's going to lead into the aorta and out through the body, to the body. Okay. So if we actually draw in our blood again, we have deoxygenated blood coming in through the vena cavas here, this way, and down from this one, okay, into the right aorta. It's going to fill this chamber up here, and when this chamber gets full, it's going to press it down in through the tricuspid valve, okay, push that through, and once this area gets filled, right ventricle gets filled, this actually will close up. Um, the valve will close up. So this chamber here is filled with um, blood. Then this valve will open up and blood will go through this valve into the pulmonary artery and out this way and this way to the lungs. Okay, this way and this way to the lungs to get oxygen. Okay, so now it's got oxygen. It's going to come back f into uh, into the body or uh, into the heart from the lungs. Okay, um, this vein actually goes behind. You can't see it, so this um, is showing that it'll enter into the left atrium. Okay. It's going to go through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle. Oops, sorry. Left ventricle. When that fills up, this valve closes. This valve opens. So blood is going to go through this valve, the aortic valve. Okay. And through here behind the, you can't see it in this drawing, but it's behind the pulmonary artery. So it's going to go through here into the aorta and um, out to the body. Okay. Let's see, make sure we see all that here. Okay. And really, I have no. Um, no way of explaining this any better, no uh, easy way to remember it. I would just continue um, maybe even watching that first portion of the uh, video where it just shows the, the dummy down version. It's not the actual true heart. Um, that's just kind of the quick way. Just kind of go through the steps over and over again until you're comfortable. Vena cava, right atrium, tricuspid valve, right ventricle, pulmonary valve, pul pulmonary artery to the lungs, gets oxygen back through the pulmonary veins to the left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, aortic valve, aorta to the body. That's really the best way I can, um, you know, so we can remember the order of the flow of the blood. Um, just keep repeating those steps.